All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, so now it's time to complete the second task for Lelote, which is retrieving the hen from the ogre and his wife. And falling off that little piece of dirt. Uh, uh oh. Wait, where am I? Okay, here I am. Yeah, we can do this. I'm gonna go ahead and save it right here. Now let's go. There's Mrs. Ogre. She's dragging something. I guess it's a deer. <laughs> the ogre sees you. You'd better run as she'd like to have you for dinner. Oh, no ma'am. No ma'am. Oh, there's the ogre. Come on, guys. Be cool. Be cool. I just want to rob you. That's that's that's, that's all I want to do. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna be play it safe. I'm gonna cover up old safe too. All right. So I remember you know we we looked around everything. Now I'm just gonna open the door this time. Watch out, a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Burp. You weren't fast enough, Rosella. You were nothing but a bite sized morsel for that big dog. Roberta. Roberta, how could you do this to me? I. Uh, what have we got that could, like, deal with a dog? Silver flute, lantern, golden ball. Maybe we throw the ball at it? You know, the dog chased the ball. Peacock feather, small brown, small crown. A small crown. Cupid's bow, shovel, fishing pole, board, bone. Oh, oh, all right, the bone from the cave. Oh, actually, I will go ahead and say, that reminds me, the only thing... I got that I had did not get originally was I I found this board um just outside the cave with the troll. So, all right. Open door. Watch out a very unfriendly bulldog rushes towards you. Throw bone. Quickly, you toss the bone to the big dog who catches it in midair. Happy with his surprise gift, he takes it to his favorite rug. Oh. Oh, you're going to have to pause that in the video, and, uh... You'll have to pause that in the video, and, uh... Read that one for yourself. Alright, look, room. This isn't the most cozy-looking living room you've ever seen. In fact, the ogre's house looks almost frightening. Uh, look, table. Very large wooden table. Look... Candlestick. Game does not understand candlestick. Okay. Um. Let's check out what's upstairs. Ogre bedroom. Look. Room. You have entered the ogre's upstairs bedroom where a huge bed dominates the place. In the left wall, you notice a closed door. Against the right wall leans the ogre's axe. Right, well, wait. Oh, okay. Nice. Look, barrel. There's nothing of importance in the barrel. Uh, look, dresser. It must hold the ogre and ogre, the ogres and ogresses clues. Open dresser. No, it's no, it's private. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look table. See nothing special. Open door. You can't. The door is locked. 
Okay. What about the door? What about, uh... Actually, let's make another save. She says, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can trust this, so I'm going to save. Oh, we save two. Let's go check this uh, side room here before we go through that door. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Open door. Look. Room. You have found yourself inside the ogre's small closet. For a closet, it's surprisingly empty. You notice a large keyhole under the doorknob of the closet door. Look, keyhole. The ogre roars, fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a. Uh... Quiet, you old goat, interrupts the ogress. That's just a deer you smell. You know how you get when you're hungry. Here, eat. You're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> Wife, shouts the ogre, bring me my hen. Like how we saw her little arm, like, oh, t oh, look, oh, look at the chicken. Lay, orders the ogre. With excitement, you watch the hen lay a golden egg, which the ogre takes. He yawns, then falls asleep on the table. Soon, his snoring rattles the walls. Brr. Is that everything? All right, I guess that's everything. Save again. Save this over, save two again. He's asleep, so maybe we can get away with opening the door. You see the ogre sleeping at the table. You had better be real quiet. Take, well, let's look, hen. You don't have it. Okay, take, hen. You're not close enough. Take him. Look, him. A magic hen. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, that's awesome. We just gotta make our way to the door. Open door. A squawk! Squawk! Uh oh. Uh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, the trees! Trees! What? Oh, wait, uh... Swing axe. Am I attacking the trees? The trees tremble at your might and are frightened by your axe. They will not bother you further. Oh, jeez. I'm out. I'm... Oh, no. Not back that way. <laughs> I'm out. Peace! I'm out of 9,000. Let's go. <laughs> Seem to be... There we, there we are. There we are. Okay, Rosella. <laughs> we figured it out. <laughs> Rosella, why you gotta make me look bad? <laughs> Why you gotta do this, Rosella? Let's let's um let's go ahead and save there. Uh oh, the lots goons. It's the Goonies. They're doing the truffle shuffle. Was that the Goonies? I think that was the Goonies. God, poor Rosella's arms. They must be just be wrenched out of those sockets by now. What a good girl you are, Lote gushes. I really ought to give you your reward right now. 
She pauses, and you wonder what she's up to. The Lote goes on to say, But I have just the tiniest bit of doubt left. You, you hag. If you do just one more thing for me, I'll be completely convinced of your innocence, and you'll receive a wonderful reward. Somehow you don't quite believe her. I want you to have Pandora. I want to have Pandora's box. It said that whoever owns it would be in possession of the purest evil. Yes. The lot's red eyes glow as she exclaims, With the power and evil of Pandora's box, I will be unstoppable. Your terror returns as you realize what an evil being the lot really is. <sighs> you wonder if you should be helping her in this way, but. What can you do about it? Nothing. Right now. I don't know the whereabouts of Pandora's box, Lelot tells you. You must search for it yourself. Again, she orders her henchman to take her away! Oh, I hate you, Lelot. <sighs> well, let's go ahead and save. So I think, if I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, I think Pandora's cave is, like, down this way. That's... that's... uh-oh. Wait, so they shouldn't bother me anymore, right? Or do I have to swing the axe every time? Oh. I know I... Alright, yeah. I know I wandered over here during... Testing to make sure the game was working properly. I don't know if I've actually managed to stumble onto this screen during the playthrough. What's down here? Before, before, we, before we try going in there, because that's just... Something about that. Yeah, I think I've I think I've managed to come through here at some point, like really quickly. I'm guessing that that's it. Call it a hunch, but I do want to see like where does this go? Oh, this is right. This okay, right? This is the graveyard. Okay. Oh, right, and we've still got to do something with that house, but I don't think... It's not nighttime yet in the game. Okay, so... I guess let's... Let's go in here. This doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Whoa. You knew you you knew you needed a hot bath, but not this hot. Oh, jeez. Roberta, you monster. Okay, so obviously don't stand there. Got it. Right, so let's let's see what we can what we can really gleam from this. Um, okay, so she she's got the eye, I think. Uh, stay away from me. Oh, they're passing the eye back and forth. Yeah, they are. Oh. Look, room. This is a dismal and dreary cave. Within it reside the three one-eyed old witches. In the center of the cave, over, over a hot fire, boils a foul-smelling brew inside a large black cauldron. The black cauldron. Uh... 
Okay. So what do I need to do? I can keep I can keep playing keep away. Can I like take the eye? Oh, watch out! Too late. Nope. You just managed to snatch the glass eye from the grass of the old witches. Now they are totally blind and helpless. What about this one? I mean, she's still chasing me, I think. Give us back our eye, the old witches plead. Uh, let's save it here. Oh, I guess let's save it with that one. Um, look, shelf. You see bottles and jars of disgusting looking stuff. None of it interests you, though. Talk, witches. Give us back our eye, the old witches plead. Uh, ouch. Look, cauldron. A greenish foul brew boils honest. A greenish foul brew boils ominously within the cauldron. Look, eye, which is glass eye. Okay. Uh, maybe I should leave. Will they like follow me out, begging me or something? What if I go back in? Don't feel like I should leave. Oh, what? As you re-enter the dismal cave, the three one-eyed witches throw something towards you, which lands on the ground. Here, take it, they cry. It'll ward off the undead. You'll need it. Now please, give us back our eye. Give us back our eye, the old witches plead. You think about it. Uh, take item. Look, ground. See a black scarab on the cave floor. Take scarab. Save this. Look, scarab. Obsidian scarab. Should I give them back their eye? Alright, I guess. Throw eye. You throw the glass eye to the three old hags who once again take turns peering at you. Come closer, dear one says. We'd like to give you a, we'd like to give a little gift to you. Why do I not believe this? Why do I feel like I did just save, didn't I? Like Yeah. I gotta know. It's definitely a lie. I knew it! You know what? Fuck you, witches. <laughs> you ain't getting your eye back. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about uh, three points. You ain't getting your eye back. Y'all suck. So I'm warded against the undead. It 
Does that mean there's something to do in the crypt? The stone crypt is built into the mountainside. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. No? No? Yes! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I hate that! I hate it when it sneaks up on you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um. Oh, flute, lantern unlit, gold ball, witch's glass eye, see the scarab, oh, excuse me, peacock feather, small crown, keep its bow. What's the small crown? Oh, that's the, um, uh, frog prince, right? Shovel. Axe. Fishing pole. Board. Silver whistle. Glass bottle. Well, it's not nighttime yet. And I know that there's, like, nothing else to do at the house until it's nighttime. So the only other place I haven't really explored is the cave tucked behind this waterfall. So I guess we'll try that. Where? Um... Oh, little frog Rosella. Oh, she's got friends on the other side. Uh, let's see here. Oh, no, I want to do light lantern. Using a flint attached to the oil lantern, you light it. The lantern burns with a bright glow. Now let's save it. I hope that troll's not in there. No. Okay. This lantern isn't very helpful. Uh. uh. Oh gosh. Oh, is this actually a straight shot? Okay. Ease my way on down here. Oh, wow. Um... Oh, this is going to be rough. All right, guess I can't go south anymore. Maybe to the east. The west seems like it's you know it's going back to the. Hey, what's that? That is. That is so cold. That is that is ice cold. That is stone cold. That is Dang Roberta. I'm not even mad. I should've known. I should have known. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh! 
Uh. <sighs> oh, this, oh man, this is this is mean. I gotta keep cycling him. Oh man, I was I was so lucky that first one. Come on. Come on, troll. Don't do me like that. Okay. Oh, come on. So there's no there's no way to get away from him. Oh my god, so you just have to get super lucky and make it all the way through. Oh, Roberta. Roberta, you are... You're as vicious as this troll. Stare now into the icy, the cold and unfeeling eyes of death. <laughs> oh, Roberta. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna, you know what, we're gonna just, this is our save, uh, we're approaching, we're about at 27 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode here, and we will continue next time. Alright, see you then, bye bye.